In this video, I'm going to show you how to communicate using the dark web. This is really good if you want to practice your freedom of speech or you just don't want anybody looking over your shoulder when it comes to communications, um, especially in a world where social media platforms get shut down during some crazy events. This is probably a good way to keep connected with your loved ones. Just to have a private communication, it means a lot nowadays. So I'm going to show you how to build that in the dark web. First things first, you're going to need to need the Tor web browser, which you see here, and you're going to need Onion Share. I'm going to walk you through the process and how to get that. So first things first, go to your normal web browser, Google, Chrome, whatever, Firefox. You're going to download the Tor browser, type in your search engine here. Click on that. This is the, what the website should look like. If you did it right, I had it down for me. I have Windows operating system, so I click download. It should download. So once you're do downloading that, I will go over to Onion Share. This is this is going to be the application that helps you host all those things. Go ahead and click on Onion Share. Once you're done Googling it, then you're going to download Onion Share. This is going to be the same thing. Pick your OS. I mean, it's Windows. You're going to click on that, download it. Um, for the sake of time, I've already downloaded everything. I've been using the stuff before this, but sake of time. So let's get rid of that. Let's move on to how to set it up. So when you first log in for the first time, you open these applications, you got to connect to the dark web. So it takes a minute to connect. When you're done, it should show you that you're connected. Um, I'm already connected on this one to save time. I've already connected on this guy to save time. So your first initial login might take five to 10 minutes. But once you do that, it should be easier for the next time. Just there's a lot of stuff going on in the background to help keep you safe online here. So nevertheless, let's move on to the next part. So how to host this stuff. So here's your options. You can either you can actually send files secretly through the dark web. And um, once you terminate the server, it's like it never existed. You won't be able to find it. So it's really good for that. If you want to send files privately to somebody else, this is a good way to do it. Um, you can host your chat server. So we're going to be working on this one because this is the one that probably the most valuable to everybody here. Um, you can also host a web server. I've done it, but it's tough building uh, the website. And it's kind of like you got to leave it running all the time, which causes up resources. So I feel better just using this stuff. This stuff you could turn on, turn off, and it doesn't exist after you uh, turn it off. So let's go ahead and create a dark web chat room. And you're going to set up the server right now. So you guys hit start chatting. Um, you can have the option of always booting this up when you turn on this application. I'm going to turn that off for now. This is a public on your share service. Disables private key. For this demonstration, we're going to not click that. We want to have a private key, so we only have certain people joining the server instead of just everybody publicly joining it. So we're going to start the server now. Just give that a minute. It might take a little bit at first. It might go fast because I already connected earlier, but this is going to create a chat room server. And here it is. This is your dark web server. You're going to copy that address and paste it here, just like you would for any other link. Hit the enter button. Might take a minute because, again, dark web is a little slow because you're jumping through uh, proxies and stuff like that. And there is that key. So you're only able to access this website with your private key. So I'll copy the private key. I'm going to paste it. You have an option to save it. If you want to continue to reuse the server, you can. For this purpose, I'm just going to not save it because I'm probably going to delete this, delete this server after I'm done because I like Kind of like leaving a trail anywhere. So let that boot up. Give it a second. And you're going to see a chat room. Again, this is really good for people that live in areas where uh, maybe where you just want to chat privately without somebody looking over your shoulder. So I don't, I don't condone any illegal activity using stuff like this. This is more for your freedom of speech and to keep you safe. Um, and also... Uh, just the, sometimes you just want to have a private conversation without anybody looking over your shoulder. So here we go. It gives you random usernames, but for this purpose, I'm going to make mine. Hold on. Not Bill Strats. Okay. That's going to be my username right now. You can change it to whatever you want. It's already showed up. So that's it. So it's just like a, a group chat. As many, I think it's, you can pretty much have as many people as you want using this at one time. And as long as you have the server running this chat room will stay alive and as soon as you turn it off all the stuff deletes and it's like it never existed having that private key assures that it's only people that you give the private key to that can get in here um as soon as you terminate it which we'll do right now so i did test tests we're going to stop the server i'm going to show you what happens so now if i type something it's not going to send because the server is no longer active so we're going to refresh the link, see what happens. I don't think it's going to do anything. 
now you know how to set up a your own private chat room in the dark web. All right, for the next part of this video, we're going to show you how to send files using the dark web. Um, this keeps your stuff private doing it this way, and it just keeps you anonymous. This is a good way to send a file. It's kind of like a dark web Dropbox, and once you're done, you just shut down the server, and it's like it never existed. So you're going to hit that right there, share files, add. We're going to share my one of my gaming logo pictures. Here it is, my logo. Okay, it's my gaming logo. <laughs> And we're going to start sharing, and it's going to spit out a link. There it is. Copy, paste, and you can only access this if you you have the private key. There it is. Copy private key. I mean, you can keep that. You can save this and shut it down and and boot it up whenever you want. But for this purpose, we're just going to delete it. All right. So as you see, there is the file here it's just my logo image and what we're going to do is download the file from the dark web and we want to share we want to save this file to your computer yes uh, let's put it in our download so we can find it fast yes i already know what exists go ahead and replace it all right it is done so now let's check our computer see if we downloaded something from the dark web there it is straight from the dark web and the best part is, now that we're done, we'll stop sharing. And this is no longer exists. So this will just spin and spin forever. Let's try to open up a new one. It's going to take us nowhere. That's it. So that's how you send files using the dark web. And we also went over how to set up a dark web chat room. Um, and this is good because if you want to stay private, you don't want Big Brother looking over your shoulder and... Uh, just want to chat privately you can't this is a, uh, a nice way to do it so the dark web might be scary but it is scary so definitely that disclaimer just don't do anything you don't know don't go on websites you don't know if this is getting your foot wet using the dark web i mean there's some good things about the dark web like stuff like this in a world where sometimes there's outages uh, sometimes social media gets shut down and stuff like that and you need to communicate with loved ones or something this is something you could do don't do anything illegal. Again, this is more or less so if you want to have a private conversation with some friends and not have a uh, big brother looking over your shoulder or even just any, if you don't want to get stupid advertisements, you want to talk to your friend about like cowboy boots or something. Uh, <laughs> then you don't want to get advertisements a day later because they're listening to you. This is probably one of the best ways to do it. So nevertheless, stay safe out there. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.